We're going to be seeing a lot of changes over the course of the next few days. Yesterday, beautiful, sunny, warm. Today, cooler, cloudier, and we're talking about both rain and snow. And as we go through the week, now we're talking about thunderstorms. So we've got basically everything that we could possibly get in the spring season happening over the course of the next few days. But let's focus on what we got happening right now. So you go all the way up to our northern, northeastern counties, or even along 64 and just a little bit south, you got a few spotty little showers kind of coming through. A few left in the bluegrass, but a lot of this is falling into drier air. You kind of got to get that green on the radar for it to make it all the way down to the ground. So uh, that's what we're getting, just a few spotty showers there, but one line that stretches all the way from Clay County through Pulaski out towards our southern counties. And that's a little bit heavier stuff, but it's a little bit more scattered. Now, you zoom out and you can see the clear line of the cold front stretching all the way from the upper northeast down through Kentucky into Arkansas. And then you spread out a little bit further. And there's the warm front of the next storm system. They're actually connected at this time. So what's going to happen is a little bit of a rope motion. You're going to have the cold front pull the warm front north and bring in some shower activity. On the other side of the warm front, where we are dealing with some cooler air, now you're talking about a little bit of winter precipitation. And then obviously behind it, that cold Arctic high is right on the heels of this low, and that's why it's immediately going to change over to a little bit cooler air before this happens. A very well-organized low-pressure system going to get its act together on Monday, and by Tuesday it's going to move into the upper Midwest. And when that happens really warm air is going to start to filter into the region. So by Tuesday afternoon, we're talking about the 70s on the map, but it's not going to last long because as a well-developed low-pressure system, you always have colder air behind it. And once it filters in behind that cold front, that's when we're going to start to be talking about some cooler air in our forecast. But before it gets here, separating the warm air from the cold air is always going to be a line of showers and thunderstorms. And that's exactly what's setting up for Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Could be seeing some pretty strong storms out of this as well. In fact, and if not, even a few minor severe storms coming out of it. But still, we're a few days out from that. Let's focus on what's going to happen on the future track. So we do get a midday break today. That's the good news for trick. I mean, I almost did it again. Trick or treaters. Oh my goodness! For the Easter egg hunters, for today, it's going to be great because it's going to be dry. Now it's not going to last long because as we get into late tonight. Now we're talking about the rain moving right back in, and this time a little bit more scattered, a little bit more widespread in some areas, and some heavier bouts of rain. But there you go. You see that clear line where the freezing temperatures are in the atmosphere, and that's going to start to spread south a little bit. So we're keeping with the same mantra of yesterday, where if you are north of Interstate 64, that corridor and everybody north, you have the chance for the wintry mix. Where the snow is going to fall, and it will be all snow, is likely Cincinnati and north. So right in between, the further north you are, the more snow you get. The further south you are, the more rain you'll get. And right in between, you get that little bit of a light mix. Very minor accumulation, if any, and it's not going to last long. And as we get into Monday, we do clear out not the clouds, but we do clear out the rain, at least primarily until the next system arrives. And that's going to be the warm front first and then eventually that cold front. So your next five days look like this. Next eight days look like that. And now you're talking about a very, very active weather pattern. Nice and warm for Tuesday with showers and thunderstorms. But once again, that cold air behind it comes in. We go right back down to the upper 40s, low 50s. Good news is we get a little bit of a dry stretch Thursday and Friday. More news after the break.